Welcome, everybody. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Live from Studio 2, everybody. We have the fantastic, the amazing, the uh, the legend, Jamma One, in the house this the evening. Legend. The legend. The <laughs> legend. I... I <laughs> That's right, yeah. And uh, we've got Chuck the Mad, featuring Chuck the Mad Ox. It's a special, unexpected featured guest. I'm so excited to have both of these guys here. I am a legend. Forget yeah, that's that. right. That's right. Um, I am legend. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, before we get started, just a quick couple of quick reminders. If you haven't already, go to ivystonerecords.com. Click the, sub- the green subscribe button to subscribe to the podcast. This will be up t- later tonight, and you can check out all the other episodes. Make sure that uh, if you're watching now, tag a friend, share the video. We're going to be here for like the next hour or so, uh, hanging out, making some great music, all st- original works by, uh, by JAMA, which is going to be great. Um, so make sure that you, if anybody you think might like it, or people that might not like it, I don't care, just, just shove it in people's faces. I don't know. Um, and uh, anyway, so we're live every Monday at 7 p.m., so t- tag a friend, let them know, and uh then also, if you're interested in booking anybody, like if, let's say you want Jamma to come and rock your party or whatever, you can also do that, ivystonerecords.com. Click Book an Artist and we'll hook you up. Uh, and if you really, some of these people like Jamma also write their own music. So if you're interested in a custom song or getting any music written um, for anything that you're working on, you can also do that through ivystonerecords.com. Okay. Uh, that's, that's that. Welcome, Jamma. Hey, thank you. Thank uh, you. It's just, good to be I, here. I have to say, his name is Jamma Won the Legend. Right. Right. I forgot. Yes. Jamma, Jamma Won the Legend. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. You don't, you don't have to say the legend part. But you okay. Can, you can say Jamma. Well, I just, I had to well, say. You can say Jamma Won. I mean, I had to say, you know, lots of positive sounding, hypey things. Yeah, no doubt. Know? No yeah, doubt. No yeah. doubt. It gets yeah. the audience excited. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, I'm very. <laughs> Glad to have you on, man. This is great. So, thank you. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, the first tune here. Tell us about this first tune. This is called. Uh, I'm still working. I, I had a name for it. This is such an old song. I forget the name of it, but we're gonna call it the uh, Jam. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For, for now, it's the Jam. Yeah, it's it's from 1997 when I was young and just starting out. So cool. And um, I'm currently working on my project, my original um, project that I never ever got to record from 1997. I just re- revamped everything and I'm going to yeah. be dropping that. And this song is going to be on that project. That's great. Cool. Probably, it'll probably be ready like uh, late fall, early winter, something like that. Excellent. And as we're going through this, um, if anybody wants to check out Follow Jamma, check out the link for Spotify that's in the description for this video. <laughs> You can go to his artist channel. <laughs> and uh, so just click the link below and follow him. Check out his music. He's got a bunch of great stuff. Um, all right, let's make it happen. This is the jam. Here we go. Rappers, rappers, rappers play the dumb. dumb. Kind of on the space tip when they hit the jam. Maybe, maybe on the jills, Nick. Rappers play the dumb. Kind of on the space tip when they hit the jam. jam. Rappers play the dumb. Kind of on the space tip when they hit the jam. We're coming in with a bang here's two sh- Don't stop so hand the credits my game's embedded It rains while competition shredded My head is full of nextness thing the ear drums reddish him sees a finish I planish hits and bundles when you're as great as I Why be humble like shrimp as ignorance crumbling funnel through rap mumbling wackly and clown statements rejected by basements of mine People are slaves and blind to facts don't see that devil's dance and spread when we put holes in our backs We are one black tingling cities of angels where positives are destroyed by number one single kind of one lingo hit you like jingles or even paddles I'm seized this on wax scared to come with the battles like back in the day travels by me wrap you up tightly excited is one of my traits say jam is great nightly purples are slightly above your head like heights be floating and smoke and flow leave a clan open man <laughs> Yeah. 
Nice man, that's great. Yeah, all it right. Felt like good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, felt, felt like good. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, let's uh, let's say hello to everybody in the chat real quick. So let's see, we've got uh, Lori is here, Antoinette, Kimberly, hey, Lori, Antoinette. Hey. My Kimberly. mom and my dad are here. Hi, hey, mom, mom and dad. Hello, hello, mom and dad. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. If you yes. haven't already, share the video, tag a friend, Hi. and uh, welcome. Yes, this is we got Jamma and Chuck here. Um, Jamma one, Chuck the Mad Ox. Wow. Yeah. Anything yeah. want to? So tell us that that tune. What was the inspiration behind that? And what's uh, Man, um, it, it's such an old song. I wrote it when I was twenty two. I'm forty six now, so that lets wow. you know. Wow, you look good. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Thank you. No, I, no, you know I was how, joking. I was joking. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Anyway, um, I th I think I I was really hungry back then. Mm -hmm. Um, I was in a group called Smooth Individuals, and my group had just split up, and I was like, "What I'm gonna do now?" Yeah. Basically, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I hate those are the worst, the worst. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, "What I'm gonna do now?" I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try to rap by myself. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, um, I put together a few songs and, um, I'm, I'm guessing they were pretty good songs. I didn't really feel test them. Yeah. You know, back, back then we didn't really have like a lot of studio access. We didn't have home studios. So right. what I did was I just plugged in the mic and hit the record button on a cassette player. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, you know, just try to like let some of my homies hear what I was doing. And they was like, yeah, man, keep going. Yeah, you know? that's great. Bathroom studios, right? Uh, yeah, that was the sound booth, right? Yeah. yeah, well, I think also sometimes the coolest, like the the stuff that is the most spirit and attitude, is recorded that way. You know? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So I don't know what it is. There's something about like uh, psychologically, like if you sometimes it's hard to handle a studio space. You know? Yeah. Um, that reminds me. Back then, I didn't even know how to perform in a studio. Yeah. Like everything was just live. It was two turntables and a microphone, you know, like the stop and go process of the studio. I just wasn't used to. So when right. I recorded that early on, I just went straight through the song. You yeah. Know? Just recorded like the way we did it just now. That's the way I recorded it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like a legit artist, you know? Yeah. You know, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people out there who can't. It's like it's it's hard to even for them to get through doing the recording that way. And I think there's. Um, there is a place for like a very high level of production value, you know? right? But if you can't also do something just straight through that is really interesting, you know, like you you just so easily get lost if you mm -hmm. if there's a, an intentional 
if you have an intentional way that you want to approach a song, it's it, that comes across if you can go straight through it, if you really workshop that, because the person is coming to the performance with a sense of what the whole arc of the thing is, you know? Yeah. I think a lot of classic music from the... Um, the early days of music, probably like 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, yeah. a lot of those artists, they perform the songs. That's yeah. why when you listen to those old songs, they have that that feeling that you can't really duplicate. They didn't That's do right. the stop and go thing. They That's went right. all the way yeah. through. They kept the energy yeah. within yeah. the song. Yeah. You're right. You know? right. There's a whole other sense of rhythm and everything and what groove is that also is, it's different. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's deeper in some ways, you know. Yeah. And that's why some artists had a harder time doing uh, lip sync performances. Yeah. Than, than you know a lot of other others other artists did, because you know they would capture a certain moment, right? And they were just used to performing. Right. So if they got on a show for like television, it was like, yeah, well, you know, you're not actually singing. Yeah, the song. Right. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't sing along yeah. they never did it the same way. Right. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Uh, okay. Well, um, we're gonna keep going. If you have any questions for Jamma or for Chuck, throw them in the chat. Um, we're gonna do the next tune here. This I is have, called I have a question. Oh yeah. Uh, so Jamma, um, <laughs> where did you get that shirt? You really gonna ask me where I got my? Shirt? <laughs> it is a good looking shirt. I gotta I mean, say, I, I he's got he's got nice. he's got it going on to this ask, evening. You know, people um, may want to know. I'm sure someone's <laughs> listening. They were like, "Oh, I'm enjoying the music so far." That's right. You know, uh, and look at his shirt. I think I nice, think nice I w- I think I want the people watching. I want I want them to guess where I got the shirt, and then it's gonna be like. <laughs> You, then I'll answer at the end of the show. Okay. I'll answer at the end of the show. If you have any thoughts about what, where Jamo <laughs> got his shirt, please put them in the chat. And uh, <laughs> that's good. All right. Well, anyway, this next song is called PCP, which actually you you have a, some like that's a thing that you do is you have a lot of great wordplay. So I don't think PCP stands for. Well, I don't know. You have to tell me. Does PCP stand for what I think it does in this song? Um. No, um, it's a wordplay song. Yeah. You know, each word, PCP, pow, click, pow. Pussycats pleasured, pretty chicks proud. You know, it's right. like a, you know, it's like a children book type, right. <laughs> type thing. Right. There's it's no heavy meaning behind it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, the chorus actually came first. Like, with this latest album that I put out, Anga Cool, um, the chorus lines on it are, are just pretty much silly songs yeah. that I'm singing while I'm walking to the grocery store. Right. You know, I think everybody <laughs> who do music, they have those, those silly songs is popping their head. Yeah. I, I know I do. There, but. Yeah. There's def- I've, I've intentionally restrained myself uh, <laughs> from ever putting anything out, but uh-huh. I, it's there. It's uh-huh. definitely there. There's like a whole alter ego. I think that I carry around mm-hmm. that I, I don't, I don't even let myself really recognize most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. You look like you're holding it back right now. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to let it out. Just... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being truthful. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, uh, this is, this is PCP. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Give me a second. <clears throat> y'all could y'all could talk it out a little bit. I'm, yeah. I gotta. I forgot to do something earlier. Okay. All right. So me. Chuck, where did you get your shirt? Oh man, <laughs> let me tell you the dopeness of this shirt. Yeah. This is the Juice Crew All Stars. Okay. See? And if you're really into hip hop, then you recognize that there were three different versions of the Juice Crew All Stars, and this is a part of the second version of the Juice Crew. All stars. Yeah. See, I'm a hip hop head to the fullest. I love music. Nice. This is dopeness Juice Crew All Star shirt, and I ordered it from Amazon. Man. When I saw the shirt, it blew my mind. And for those that are not familiar with the Juice Crew All Stars, let me tell you some of the members: it's Roxanne Shante, Big Daddy Kane, Biz Markie, who recently passed away. R.I.P. to Biz Markie. Um, MC Shan. Uh, Craig G, Cool G Rap, uh, Tragedy, Glamorous, and I feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh, and the head of the crew was Molly Maul. 
Cool. I I uh one second here. That's some old school oh. hip hop stuff. Yeah. That's great, man. No, I, I um I have a lot to learn still with just hip hop in general. I have like enough of a musical understanding that I can sort of hang sometimes. Oh, you know what you but should check out? There's a lot of guys I need to check out. You yeah. should check out the Roxanne Shante movie on Netflix. Cool. Okay. It's so sweet. You yeah. Know, love it. it's dope. Sweet. Yeah. I will really do that. Good. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jamma, how are we looking here, man? All right, I think I might be ready. All right. This is also um, a very cool device here. Do you want to talk? Actually, let's talk about it after the next. Let's do the next song. Okay, here we go. All right. PCP, pow, click, pow, pussycat's pleasure. Pretty chicks proud. Mm. Homes can't produce premier crates of paper. Pansies change prices. I pierce chunks with dancers. Yeah. Fools can't hold us. Mm. <coughs> We're doing piles and piles of angel dust. <coughs> and the cops can't hold us. <coughs> Yeah. I'm talking piles and piles of angel dust. Dust. Piles and piles of angel dust. Yo. A wonderful combination. Put peace. Yo. A critical combination. Hold up. A powerful combination puts peace clear and passage. Prostitutes come provided a personal care package. Pink carts of prophylactics, pop a court pimping. Police can't persuade them to pursue common positions. Parading currency, purpose of penis contest, plus polarizing characters promote promising concepts. And people come petty, participants can't prevail. Please on the coochie play mace, the pliable cries and pales. I'm pinning core principle, pouring champagne in Paris, playing Chinese ping pong, a Peru catching carrots, putting carrots in parfaits, feral cars. Parameters for pharmaceuticals, coronavirus propaganda. Yeah. Dust. <laughs> what you want? Uh, yeah. I'm doing piles and piles of angel dust. Dust. Yeah. 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 I'm talking piles and piles of angel dust. Dust. Piles and piles of angel dust. It's a little rocky. <laughs> <laughs> we made was it. Like, that was good overall. That was. <laughs> <laughs> That's this the cool, cool thing about doing something live. You could just, you know, if you screw it up, you could just pick it right back up. That's right, man. <laughs> well, this also this is really cool that you're. I mean, talk about this device that you're using here. This is like everybody needs. Some people know what this is, but a lot of people watching probably don't know. Okay, well, this is the latest installment of the Ikai family called the MPC One. It's a sampling drum machine. You can use it to chop up your samples and rearrange it. Come with drum sounds, keyboard sounds, synthesizing sounds. It come with hits. It's beautiful. Um, it's standalone. You don't need a computer to use it. That's why I bought it. So if I want to go to the open mic and I want to play some of my beats, I can yeah. just plug this bad boy in and get busy. Boom. Yeah, it's great, man. <laughs> well, I think it's really cool. And, it, and it's a lot. Like, if you're both doing that, you're thinking about all of the, the samples and everything. You're, you know, you're creating these arrangements and you're rapping. Yeah. It's a lot to do, you know? Yeah, it's... <laughs> you can get tripped up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool, man. I love it. I think it's really yeah. great. Um, cool. All right, so uh, Tux, this next tune is called By the Way, or in parentheses, Slums. Tell us yeah. about this tune. Um... Um, wow. Um, I was living out in Baltimore County in a very nice 
neighborhood, quiet neighborhood. And, you know, some things happened and I had to leave and go back from whence I came, which is Baltimore City. And um, I'm looking around. I'm, I'm loving the place. I'm looking around some things I'm I'm not loving so much and you know I'm I'm noticing a cycle going on and I just pretty much wrote the song about everything that I was not everything but a lot of the things that I was seeing in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. Here can I go. kind of yeah. uh, jump on that bandwagon, you know. I just want to say as an artist coming from Baltimore or Maryland but just to say in Baltimore yeah, you know, there's a lot of other places where their artists support each other, have been supporting each other, and I think that throughout the years it's gotten better than than what it has been before. Yeah, but um, you know, we've we've had this crab in a barrel type of mentality for a long time. Yeah, um, that definitely has to change, and it's not even just with music; just different forms of art. Right. Um, and we have to change that. You yeah. Know, support each other more. I've always been for, you know, supporting the next artist that's doing their thing. Yeah. Um, and, and we need to do that more often. Yeah. To help put our city on the map like other cities have been. Yeah, placed totally. Placed on the map. What, what do you think it is? Because um, Baltimore has its own name for itself as being kind of almost like insular like it's it's very it's 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 its own unit it's not really that connected outside of it it's like it's, its own culture it's its own thing and you mentioned the crabs in the bucket like somebody's on the way out you know everybody's got to claw and keep them back in or it feels yeah, like that it's We're, crazy because like okay like you think of new york and you'll have people you know you'll always have some shadiness you know that's right. just life sure but you know with New York State, that's a big place. There's a lot of people, a lot of artists that live in the place. Yeah. And Baltimore is just a city. Everything is more condensed. You know, yeah. you, you turn a corner, boom, someone is right there. Yeah. Um, there's so much talent within the city. And there's a lot of people that you don't know that have left the city and mm-hmm. have made it and, have, and are really doing big things. You know, um, and I've known a lot of people that like, you know, they go to other countries, get the superstar treatment and come back here. We don't even know who they are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a thing where like we need to recognize and support our artists the way that other places support their artists. Yeah. You know, like Atlanta before um, they really got put on the map the way that they are now and their sound got put on the map the way that it is now because right now their sound is what is leading hip hop right right um they supported each other you know they always had supported each other yeah and the thing about it is once that door cracked open they pushed it open wide open yeah, and right. all of their artists came through and then it became what it became you know what I'm saying? Right. And with us, there's never been enough support um, from one another where we were able to really do the same thing. I mean, yeah. and the talent has always been here. Yeah. It's not even about the talent. Yeah, no you question. Know? And like yeah. I said, you know, it's not just music. You know, it's just it's different forms of art. And it's not just hip hop. It's just it's different forms or genres of music, you know. Yeah. Um, and we, we've been doing the same thing. And I think it's gotten a little better than what it was, but it still needs to improve. You know, like, so I'll say this for those who are listening. If you go to a show to support one artist, try to stick around and, and check out two other artists that you may not know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of thing. Yeah, totally. You know, like, the, like that's the thing that's going to help put us on the map. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, let's let's do it. This is uh, this is by the way. By the way. Yes, I live in the slums where the sirens keep you up at night. 
Young gunners bust it when another day don't come to fight. Fiends on a strip, fiending for a hit. Stuff a pipe. Scotty beat me up tonight. <laughs> I, I live, live in, in the slums. slums. Where the corners full of gunners, they advertise the poison, promote it to your daughters. Have her believe in their bodies, highly likely to support her. The little transformer, <laughs> yeah, I, I live, live in the slums. slums. Do what you gotta do to make a buck, selling dope or selling dope. Mixtapes, wake them up, make them jump the lap and they the build and post your papers up. <laughs> when inspiration comes, I live in the slums. Mouse potty, no snotty. Dudes in the posse trying to rob me. Why, Why me? me? Anything that happens see you got a cop a shoddy. Probably every day somebody's getting bodied. I'm here in the slums. I live in the slums. Oh, and by the way, I come from a place called Baltimore. If you never heard of it, you were not alone. A rough little city in the center of Maryland. Some call it crazy, but they like to call it home. By the way, I come from a place called Baltimore. If you never heard of it, you were not alone. A rough little city in the center of Maryland. Some call it crazy, but they like to call it home. Slums. Yeah. Didn't grow up here, but I was a slacker in the chump. Now I'm stuck here. I sit by the window, seeing my people's poor luck here. Feeling for the babies in the cycle coming up here. Slums. This is far from glorification. It's heartbreaking, waiting for my nation to awaken. We taking what's been given. Politicians are flaking. They take. Yeah. Bullets for you lanes, bullets from my brain Politicians from game, who get cops in pain I am out of my mind, brain out of my cage Niggas young my minds, can't act my age Wouldn't life be odd if we break your brains the way If we voted for God, would there really be change? Crooks on the porch, crooks on the force Everybody's so lost, life's like a maze Yeah. And by the way, I come from a place called Baltimore. You never heard of it, you were not alone. A rough little city in the center of Maryland. Some call it crazy, but I like to go home. By the way, I come from a place called Baltimore. If you never heard of it, you were not alone. A rough little city in the center of Maryland. Some call it crazy, but I like to go home. Slums. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, man. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. I, that's actually, that's the first song that I think introduced me to you because I we met at a, a venue that's now not even there anymore. It's uh, Peace and a Cup of Joe Peace years ago. Peace and a Cup ago. of Joe. That's right. And I, I, one of the things, I remember my brother and I went and played a little short set uh, and then... Um, I remember you coming out, and uh, I don't even know if you had anybody behind you or not. I just remember one of the, the the primary things I remember from the entire night was you coming up and going, "I live in the slums," <laughs> and I was like, "This is so good, <laughs> yes." <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so anyway, that's really cool. They get to do that, man. Uh, all right, so let's let's check in with everybody and see. Um, everybody's got any questions or anything here? So, oh, we got a couple other people here. Uh, you have any of your uncles? Then? No, <laughs> just like his, his aunts and uncles. No, right no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I know where you're going with that. <laughs> uh, um, so, all right, let's see here. Uh, Antoinette wants to know how. Uh, well, she says my son can rap. He cannot sing to save his life. <laughs> That's yeah. I'm sorry. You don't need to know how to sing if you know how to rap. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Everybody. Um, I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandy is here. Hi, Brandy. Um, Hello, Brandy. Antoinette says New York East Side. I get. I don't know. I'm saying it wrong. I'm sure East Side. Side east side? with a lot of eyes. You're supposed to say West. What? I don't think I don't nobody know. say East Side. <laughs> I don't know. know. They be says... like West Side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sterling's here. Hey, Sterling. Welcome, man. What's going on? Uh. Let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to move through everything here. Everybody is really enjoying this. 
Um, thank you. Brandy says, hello, you handsome men. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> that's right. Wow. Yeah, that's it's Yeah. Got it. Got to keep it. Got to keep it right. Uh, OK. Um, Antoinette asks, did you hear Kanye West wants to change his name to just Ye? Y E? I heard he wanted to change his name. I didn't hear that what he was what he wanted to turn it into though. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I haven't heard Kanye that. Kanye is is bananas these days. He's... Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's actually different, or is it we just we know who Kanye is more now? Or I think the older he gets, the more off the rail he goes it's, mm. he, it's always an antic with him it's, yeah. uh, every time he come out it's something else yeah well and the thing we gotta keep in mind is you know musically the cat he's dope you know I'm not That's even the biggest is. Kanye fan he's definitely but I'll, I'll give him some props yeah and the thing about it is it's like you know normally people who are that tuned into music are always kind of off, <laughs> you yeah. Know? Um, and fame will drive you nuts. It will, you know. Yeah. Fame will drive you nuts. It's Not everyone fast. can handle it. That's that's fame what it seems like. Yeah. Nuts. And if you don't have the right circle around you, you break away from the right circle that you may have had around you. Um, right. You will catch a L. Yeah. Uh, uh, for those that don't know, that's a lost. <laughs> Uh, Thank yeah. you for filling us all in. I try. Man. I mean, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I get my Mister Rogers, you know, moment in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Um, uh, Antoinette says, "Off the rail." I agree with you, Jamma. Uh, let's see. Brandy says, "That's why you stay humble, so you don't crumble." Uh oh, she about to bust into a rhyme. Oh man, <laughs> that's uh, definitely a rhyme. That's right. <laughs> it is a rhyme. Yes. Okay. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's keep it going here, man. The next tune we've got here is called "Mamas and Aunties." Tell us about this tune. All right. Um, it's pretty much a life lesson. Um, I know a lot of times as men we have trouble manning up. Yeah. And you know, just going for it. You know what I mean? Right. Like we, we sometimes don't have the proper self-motivation or we might not have the proper um, training coming up. So it's certain things that we just have to learn as we grow into men. Right. And that's what mamas and aunties are about. So when I say I'm sitting at the mall checking out your mamas and the aunties, it's like a metaphor for I'm just watching my life go by as opposed to, yeah. you know, making things happen. Because right. you can, you know, be introducing yourself to the mamas and aunties, but no, right. you're just sitting there watching them go by. <laughs> right. Like, pretty much like your life. You're just watching it yeah. go by. Yeah. Right. Can you give a uh, an age range on that? Oh, oh, remember, you had to clear that up <laughs> earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 we yeah, were... Yeah. Because some people were thinking, like, is he about to hit on my grandmother? Definitely not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm somebody who's in his mid-40s. So when I say mamas and aunties, I'm probably checking out your mom and auntie if you're in your 20s. Right. Or, <laughs> or a mom and auntie who's in her 20s. Right, right. You know there what I go. mean? Yeah. All right, cool. Very good. Well, let's let's make it happen here, man. And we're doing this um, uh, instrumentally. Yeah. So, uh, Chuck, you want to give me a, whatever the tempo feels good? Scooby that doop 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 doop
I'm just hanging around the mall, checking out your mamas and your aunties. Hang around the mall. Yeah. Checking out your mamas and your aunties. Yeah, we're just hanging around the mall, checking out your mamas and your aunties. While you get spotted by your thoughts Who makes you lose all integrity So I've learned to be your best for me Could it be my scarcity mindset Makes me overly cool and soon play for my kindness A brother with their white boy stress The hideous curse for nice guys Society's walk and rejects You tell yourself it'll get better But it never does Not until you grow a pair and take a better drug Sometimes I sit and think of all the pussy I passed up When I lived in Atlanta Or the times I ain't man up It's not anybody who violated no word spoken Just that thing smoking when I'm passing in like a token no, I ain't broken, just know your thoughts get the best of you When you should change this schedule and rechange mm. They got it coming like the lame on the train tracks Who's playing on train tracks? But when the train came, splash A shot of reality for you Propelling your dog to get cerebellum Creeper Auntie Yo, bring it I'm just hanging around the mall Checking out your mamas and your aunties Hanging around the mall Yeah Checking out your mamas and your aunties Yeah, I'm just hanging around the mall Checking out your mamas and your aunties Yeah, hang around the mall mm. Checking out your mamas and your aunties That means I love you. <laughs> That's the word. That's it right here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. Very nice. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's check in really quick. Uh, let's see here. Um, Antoinette says, <clears throat> quote, the older the chicken, the better the soup. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> 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 wow, that's a, a little bit of home early. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Chuck uh, Sterling. <laughs> Sterling says, "My auntie is eighty-seven, so." <laughs> well, you know, it's not. A, see, he can't. He doesn't see the hotness in eighty-seven. Right. You know, right. because he doesn't. Have, he's not as enlightened right. as you. Right. He's not supposed to see it because that's his aunt. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But. Through the eyes of another man, it's completely different. Mm. Sure, her switch may be slower, but uh-huh. that's a slow, sexy. Right. What I'm it's a it's a slow, slow motion sexy. Slow, man. creaky, sexy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Age ain't nothing mm-hmm. but a number. That's, that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> you don't be you like you don't know what eighty seven can do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about your heart like that. But, right. Right. You know, but you know, you know, you know. Okay. It don't matter. See yeah. You know, right. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of pills Uh these days, you know. Right, right. Yeah, (laughs) you drink a glass of milk and take one of those pills, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, You could. I mean, you know, your whole there's all kinds of things that can happen when you start taking pills. Throw mm-hmm. on some uh, blueberry hill. Wow. And yeah. I Under your blue- my thrill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <man>. uh, <laughs> uh-huh. You're like, hello, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
was waiting for you to sing the rest of Blueberry Hill. I was Hill about there. to, but but mine went in another dirty direction. I'm <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we can save that for later. But I pre- I appreciate <laughs> uh, <clears throat> your insight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this next tune is uh, called "Sweet Gloria." Tell us about this tune, Jamma. Um. Oh, wow, what can I say okay. about what can I say about this song? Um I think it's it's one of those really strange kind of romance tunes where you want the romance to go some way, but it goes the total opposite direction. Oh, no. <laughs> and you learn from it. You'd be like, well, I won't be doing that no more. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you're saying. Like, <laughs> when she's like, oh, well, my husband said I got to stop seeing you. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, I actually, it's because I was actually just a little bit lost because also Sterling just, uh, he just uh, um, posted, I don't see hotness in women. And that's because he's gay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. That would make sense. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. But look, we said 87, but it could not be a dude, too. You know, we that's right. Didn't, you know? Yeah, we didn't. Could did be we say? hot 87-year-old dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got a nice, you know, he got slacks up to his <laughs> navel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, it's all, uh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> so, Heat! Um, yeah. Yo, they wilding, yo, um, they wilding. Okay. Well, right, glo- sweet glory. Anyway, sweet glory. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm trying to keep up with these two and read your comments. So if I've missed anybody. Uh, um, oh, oh, here we go. Brandy asks, um, who was your inspiration when you realized you wanted to do music, who was, who was the the uh, the artist? My main inspiration when it comes to um, rapping was KRS One. Yeah. But music, uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. I'm th- I'm thinking back to when I was young, teenager. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Um. Uh, Kimberly says it's weird when your daughter's guy friend checks you out. Do you agree? <laughs> no, that's what we do. <laughs> we check okay. out our girlfriends and their moms. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Um, uh, Antoinette says I am both a mama and an auntie. Uh oh, hot dog. Hot. <laughs> Bring in the heat. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Um, Let's uh let's continue on here. Uh this next tune is called Sweet Gloria. Sweet glow. All right, here we go. <laughs> But mentally, got love to be in and courting me so unaccordingly. But don't tell me that you love me when you don't mean it. I mean it. As the cookie goes crumbs, these unicorns always tear things up. Still, she calling me and all of me. I love her dearly, but could never give her all of me. It's never even see, that's why love sucks. And when you lust like a lover too much, good luck, she gone. How can someone who's so dang good be so dang bad? It's so dang sad. I'm so dang mad, and so dang had, and so dang last, yeah.
Yeah, man. All right. Uh, let's see. Kimberly says, "Mama Auntie Club." Apparently, they're turning. They're they're making a club. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Brandy says, "I'm a mama, auntie, and uh, grandma." I think GMA. Ha ha. I'm a hot granny. Ha ha. Yes, I said it. <laughs> yes, I said. It. That's yeah. it. There you go. That's right. Uh, That's you know, you just you never know what's cape. gonna happen when you come on live from Studio Two, guys. You could just um, yeah, put on that super cape. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Bra- oh, Brandy is clapping. They're Thank giving, you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, cool, man. So we've got one more tune to do. Uh, okay. And uh, it's called Out of Sight. Tell us about this tune. It's a fun song that um, me and my homeboy Satin Ruler came up with. Uh, that's one of my groups. Um, he's my partner in a group called Mahogany Blunted. Um, but I have, like, I've done the solo version. I, I totally, <laughs> I didn't throw away the version with me and him. I still have it, but, you know. Yeah, everybody who knows the song, it's a video out for it. Go, go watch the video. It's a fun video I did with me and my daughters. Um, and yeah, it's going to be featuring Chuck, the Mad Ox today. Ooh. Oh, hey, I have a question for you. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah. I have a question. So how is it as an artist struggling as an artist today with kids? Um, I don't know. I have fun. I have way too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Um. I think I think one of the biggest challenges is the time thing. Mm-hmm. Um, sorting out time for your family and time for your art and your music. And then there's your job and all of that kind of stuff. But I think I do personally, I think I do pretty well with that because, you know, um, when when you have a partner who's who's supportive in that in that way, it makes it easier. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. That's great. You have. Yeah. An understanding, supportive partner. That's really yeah. important. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> cool, man. How about you, Chuck? You you have kids too, right? I do. I have two. How would you answer that question? Oh, uh, well, I'm fortunate enough, as he said, I don't have his partner. You know, we don't share. <laughs> we don't get down like that. Okay. All know? right. But Good, good um, for you. I'm fortunate enough that, um, you know, I've been married for some time, and my wife met me as an artist, um, have supported me as an artist. Um, I've been able to support my household as an artist. That's great. Um, and I've been able to find the time to balance out, you know, to, to watch my kids grow yeah. and to help with their growth and, you know, to be there for them. Um, now they're getting older, you know, it's, it's a whole nother set of rules and issues because I'm in the 12 and 14 year old range. Right. So I'm not, I'm not going to say not as needed. <laughs> but, right. But they're getting more independent. Yeah, they're working they're, their way the, towards the independence. independence <clears throat> yeah. is, is there more than what it used to be. But because um, I used to like do more tours and stuff like that and would have to leave for right. like, you know, weeks or whatever at a time. So now, um, you know, it's a little different, but, um, you know, we, we've always found the balance. And for me, like I made sure that my household and the family was still always first. Right. Like I love what I do. I would like to continue to do what I do, but still my family is what motivates me to do it. Right. So the family is always first. That's great, man. That's what's up. Cool. Uh, all right, well, let's do this. This is our last tune. This is out of sight. Let's let's make it happen. Y'all ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, you ready? <laughs> I think I think Chuck's ready. Yeah. What do you he, think? He had to, he had he's, to let us know. He's, he's uh... a. <laughs> all right, man. Whenever you're ready. Four, three, two. Hi, I'm Jammer. One to play? Yeah. 
Gangster rap the bump and chase the sun away Drummers play summer breeze Run up with the guns to say Everybody throw your hands up Like we're getting stuffed From Eddie in all directions People getting bucked by the cops By the blocks, by the plots Getting snuffed By your own kind of known Minds are gone Vex trying to find a home Vex I need some time alone All together now we You know it, you know it, yeah, yeah, you, you, you know, know it. it. We, we is we out, out of, of sight. You know it, you know it, yeah, yeah, you, you know, know it. it. But anyway, I'm Jammer, hey. and I can use a friend okay. Like Ebenezer Scrooge, no need to be pretend We could spend the day shopping bullies in the lockers Or playing peep and tom up a tree But bananas like, ooh, women Inspiration for the Rittens So I make rat clap from the back of a pterodactyl While your baby mama keeps grinning But she can't get it, she look like Grillins And even if she didn't, I ain't trying to be your step daddy These rappers dumb and dumb are trying to get at me Till I put them paws on them, somebody get scrappy Take this mm, Your kung fu is quite wonderful All together now we we is, is out, out of, of sight. You know it. You know it. You, 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 you know, know it. it. We, we is out, out of, of sight. You know it. You know it. You, you, you know it. I speed the insane thought the mad is born. Turn the body kids into the children of the corn. Insert the animal chip and transform. Heart of an Autobot blast like Megatron. I bomb like a nuclear heart to disarm. You can separate my limbs with my thoughts, but carry on to the darkness of light, to the early of dawn, the calm before the storm. Got the foot of Godzilla, you didn't know, so you persist to carry on. Am I mad because I'm torn? Between the art of my conscience, but just don't speak what I lust for. I must say more. Crash through the door. 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 We we is out 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 of of sight. You know it. You know it. You 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 know it. We we is out out of of sight. (laughs) You know it. You know it. Old school style. We we is out. You know where? You know where? <laughs> you know where? We, we, we is, is out, out, out of sight. Ha 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 ha! You know where? You 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 know where? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I Excellent. Like it felt. Yeah, man. Well, thanks. That was great. Thanks very much for coming on, both of thanks you guys. Thanks for having us, man. This was, yeah. this was dope. This was super dope. Awesome. Well, I, I love having both of you on. This was great. Let me check. Let's check to see. <laughs> Antoinette is uh, all caps. She says, we is out of sight, two exclamation points. You know it, <laughs> two exclamation points. So she was singing along. They're, they're, everybody is uh, with you. Word, word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she also says, um, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but uh, raw. I think uh, whatever you did at the yeah, end there. Yeah. yeah. How, do, how do you do that again, Chuck? Raw, hog, smirk. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I love uh, your well, audience, man. They so groovy. Yeah, yeah they're man. fun, man. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for hanging out. If you didn't already, please share this video or tag somebody. Um, and check out Jamma's, uh, the link to Jamma's Spotify, artist Spotify profile and search him online. He's got a lot of other places too, YouTube and Facebook and everywhere, Instagram. And, and uh, yes. You can check me out, Chuck the Mad Ox or Chuck Mad Ox on Facebook and IG. Yes, absolutely. 
And uh, if you're ever in the area, they're often playing in Baltimore and the surrounding area too, so definitely yeah. check them out. Yep. Um, but you can check all the links in the description. And if you haven't uh, subscribed yet to the to the podcast, what yes. are you oh, doing? Yes. Please what subscribe. Are you doing? What, what subscribe. are you doing? Pass the, let me say this. Let me, let me just say, look. There's certain things in life that are wonderful to us as human beings. This is true. Air, bread, cheese. Yes, Lord. Variety of bacons. Mm, mm, and you know great. what else is? This podcast. That's yes, right. Why great. don't you help the human race? Help them. Help yeah. the human race. Yes. By spreading the word. Preach. Letting the people know Preach. that the podcast is here. Yes. <laughs> the podcast is here. It doesn't take much to let them know that it's out. It's easy. You can pass the word. Pass the word. God said, if I can help Gilligan get off the island, you can pass the word about the podcast. Amen. Hey, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I don't think I can... I can I can't say anything after that. I think that's the final word. I I appreciate you both coming on. This is great. You guys are the your your what's up, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll all see you soon. Adios, amigas. Hotness. Uh,